Welcome to Minecraft Descent into Pacifism, a Minecraft Bliss mod pack long play. In this series we have two rules, no killing and no stealing. And in this mod pack, we get to do just that. This idea was inspired when I realized that almost all popularized Minecraft videos online centered around killing and trapping people and monsters. This is not that. There are plenty of videos out there which you can find that focus on those concepts, and I don't fault you if you want to go watch them. This series has been a major challenge, and I invite you all to join me as I descend into pacifism. Hey everyone, welcome back. Alright, so... Right now it may look a little confusing. I am up on a big, big uh, dirt pile, but I wanted to show off something. Um, I mentioned last episode that there's a uh, mod that I'm using called Distant Horizons. Right now it doesn't really mean much. Where it's really going to help is once we get a light tread and start flying around. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into video settings. Right, Notice I have two chunk render distance right now. Okay, keep that in mind. I'm not going to change that until after we're done with this. I'm going to disable my shaders. And as soon as I do that, look at that. Right? Now, granted, because the settings and stuff right now, this is that two chunk radius. I'm too high up to see it rendered, right? However, everything outside of that is rendered by the distant horizons chunk. Or mod, which... It's a level of detail mod, so level of detail is the further away you are from a uh, from a block or an area, the less detail it is. So like, look at, you see all those, what would normally be flowers down there, um, basically they just, they changed it down to where the uh, uh, highest detail you'll get is a single block. And I can change that in settings to be uh, four blocks, where it'll just average out four blocks, and I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Here's what it is, graphics, quality options, um, chunk distance, vertical quality, okay, block, two blocks, done, 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 back to game. See now it's, you know, the quality's gone down, it'll actually go faster, but to be honest, like, this really doesn't use almost any of my graphics, uh, or processing like it's so much faster you some using something like this you can uh you can actually set a game using vanilla much better so you know, four blocks half a chunk chunk block i like block just because you, know, you still can see stuff you just lose like if you're not gonna see stairs you're just gonna see a gray block because it just looks like stone right uh, but because we have shaders on, right? Like it's, you know, not gonna work. But while this is on, you can kind of see I've made more progress with that. Um, I'm going to update and go to my, to my normal settings real quick. So video, I'm gonna take this back to 32 chunks, uh, shader pads, and enabled. As soon as I enable that, everything else goes away, right? Why? Because it's raining. And, uh, because it's raining, you can't really do anything about it. Done, done. But you can also see, like, it's rendering out a bit. See, now, so the difference is, is right now what it's doing and why it's taking a little bit is it's actually trying to render and process all the blocks, not just the surface part, but like underground, if there's any entity on there that's doing something. Like, over there, you can see flames, right? I think those are just lantern lights. Um, you can see it's actually going really far because 32 chunks is a long way, right? Um, uh, but you'll also see, like, even with a decent graphics card, it's struggling with that. Okay, it's struggling, it's just taking off. Uh, and you can see under us looks a lot better. Of course, the rain is making it harder to see. Uh, I'm actually going to set it back down to 15, which is what I've been using. Um, of note, and I noticed this when I was just showing you guys that there's a uh, a move, a uh, mushroom, a mushroom biome over there, which is pretty cool. So, 
I did fishing. Now it's been about an hour and a half fishing. I got a really good fishing rod. Um, turns out fishing is the way to get experience. It's the way to get, you know, a lot of items because you get uh, ink sacks really easy there. You get leather. Um, I'll show you. I, I put everything I got from fishing in a chest. I don't. I don't like the idea of just a giant dirt tower there forever. Just wanted to show you guys what that mod did. All right. See, I got those two chests. I just sat there in between the two. See, I went back further too. By the way. Oh, not only did I go back further, I left a block there. Alright, so I got, I've got it further back enough to where I can start my first uh, build back over here. Step one, get rid of all the dirt. And the flowers, and the random seeds. And the pebbles, not that one. You might be wondering where's everything else I had. I mean, some of it's in here, not really worried about that. I also put uh, a lot of stuff in here that I just randomly had in my inventory. Including flowers and stuff that should be in that other chest now that I think about it. There we go. Now, what did I get from fishing? All of this. Alright, so here's that fishing rod I was talking about, right? It's got mending, unbreaking, three, lower three, and luck of the sea three. That was actually three different fishing rods that I combined together. It took me 24 levels plus 15 levels or something like that. Uh, you can see I also got a bunch more, like there's another one with Mending, it's got Curse of Vanishing and stuff. Uh, Lore 3, I'm Breaking 3, like these are just random ones that I got. Like, there's enough here to make another one of these. Um, I also got this, right? There's one with Looting 3, Looting 2, Smite 4, Protection 3, and Power 4, like some really good enchantment, enchanted books here. Um, Prop 3 right there. So, I don't really care about the Luck of the Sea, but it's got Looting 3 and Sharpness 3, right? Both of those are really good. Uh, but, I like the Looting. Notice, Looting also applies to, what is that? A frying pan and a knife as well. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good. So, none of these are fortune. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's that's what uh, fishing got me. I, I didn't even harvest this. I wasn't worried about it. But I did uh, go through and get these going again. Um, yeah. Of course, I finished all of them. And I even had time to put some more in. Just fill this up. Yes, I know I'm gonna have a surplus of uh, of cobblestone, and that's okay because the end goal is, like I said, a full chest of normal stone, and that's gonna help us build more. Like this right here is another thing. Those have all converted, so I need to move them back. I'd like all of that dirt to look like muddy. So I'm gonna clear out my other stuff here. I think I'll be able to yep. Might speed that up well enough. Then Oops, I did that I that's twice I've done that. That's fine. I feel like it's slowly building up. It's like a muddy area. Uh, another thing. My vine uh, farm is growing nicely. I'm converting random uh, blocks over. Don't know if all of them up there. Immediately, I can just jump on. Oh, that. Plenty of 
vines, which is up top. So, like I said, the next big build is going to be a storage slash silo for all of the grains and seeds and stuff like that. And we're going to make it organized for different crops getting different things. Like one of them is probably going to be entirely just this. Now, I've been thinking about how I want to do this, and it would be a circular build, like a normal grain silo. Now, normal grain silos are just filled to the brim with uh, with seed or grain, but I wanted it to be in like chests and whatnot. And I was thinking probably the easiest way to do that would be around the edge of the uh, build, where I can uh, climb up somehow, maybe with ladders. And then I can make it where there's a, uh, where it, all I have to do is fill up the top one and it automatically fills down using hoppers or something. Uh, there's a lot of options on that one. Uh, I can do a spiral hopper going all the way around. Um, it's going to require a lot of chests and a lot of hoppers. And it looks like all this iron might actually have a use one day. Uh, but now we get to the what the outside of the, of the silo made of. Now, if you look at uh, if you look at silos, a lot of them are made out of um, made out of aluminum or some form of metal, sheet metal. And uh, I don't want to use up all of my aluminum or all of my iron on just that, so I can make it out of wood. Right, wood can make a silo as long as it's something that can store the material. Um, so I've got a lot of blossom logs, and if I take the blossom logs, I can make vertical slabs. <coughs> but the vertical slabs, vertical slabs can fill a lot of the space. You know, just the walling and stuff. I'm gonna have to take out everything I have for blossom log. And granted, I also have all of these fir logs around. I can make it using a fir tree. Um, I have, I think, I have enough diamonds to make a uh, a diamond. Yeah, I have enough to make a diamond axe, which I could do that and enchant it after a minute. But even just making a diamond axe would be greatly preferable to using an iron one. Is I now have three, <laughs> so I can make it darker, right? Choose either the wall one, or I can make it lighter. And honestly, I think making it lighter might be better. So what am I do? Um, I have all this dirt here, which I'm gonna need for for cutting down. I'll put the rest of this up for later because there will be builds that need darker woods. Uh. And there I go. Cool. Okay. I'll take one of these big ones. Oh man. So the good news is if I pick one of these ones back here, because it's in the middle of the forest, it won't matter if I get all the leaves. It is very quick though. So there's that. So many logs. Yeah. All the way up on all four. The other big advantage is this is not, this has such higher quality, like the durability of them so much more. So I don't have to worry about having to replace them every few minutes. I do want to put mending on all of them, and unfortunately, getting mending for these is going to be very difficult. Because that means more than likely I'm going to have to uh, find a. Uh, 
Come on. One like I'm gonna have to find a villager that trades for it. Um, or breed one. But I am making a village right now, so. So the silo right now is gonna be for farming stuff only, right? But I expect there to be another more specific to uh Uh, expect another uh, building, a storage area, specific to uh, other stuff as well. Alright, going up further. Might as well get all the way up first. Oh my god. See my my diamond shovel is pretty low as well. Just the uh, there we go. Just going through the spaces that I already have. It's a lot. through that time. That should be enough for now. I can come back here if I need more. Oh, no. Alright, let's get back out of here. Now. I am most certainly going to need this right next to my bed. And I'm going to want... I still have calcite anywhere. Can I make calcite in the slab? Let's make sure I can make calcite slabs. Yeah, I can. That'll be helpful later, but not for this. Never mind. I will make a, uh, a tile wood floor, if that's at all possible. Options that I have here is trap doors, but I can use those. Uh, it's not cage chest. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we got. Right. So. This one, uh, okay. So I want this to be on this little upswing, but I want to put it back a little bit because the road's going to come back through here. Probably to where that is right there. Uh, so I'm putting it right around here. And uh, conveniently, there's a whole bunch of uh, gravel here, which will be perfect to. Alright, actually. 
make sure that path is good. But what I want to do is, uh, where did all that travel go? There it is. What I want to do is uh, lay it out. How do I? Let's try. Oh, it's got fortune. Okay. Forgot about fortune. Ooh, what do you got? Uh, pack ice, that's pretty useful. Uh, some dyes. What's this? Fire, coral, block. Uh, like, useful, but not really yet. Pack ice is going to be pretty cool. Oh. He does that whenever there's monsters around, even if I'm, if they're safe. Probably for good, good reason. Alright. So, I will actually use this log to do. I will make it go right up against the edge here. Um, so the center, I want it to be on a 4x4. Four four. So this corner of this. So, right, here's the center. Um, around it, I'm going to have a staircase going up. Right? All the way up this thing. With floors. So out of this, I'm going to go... So staircase, staircase... Uh, chest area, and uh, hopper area if necessary, and then bam. Right? That's one, two, three, four. That's going to be on all four sides. You wonder I'm using this because it's something I don't plan on using in the build. Right? Now, all four sides are like that. How do you connect all four sides like this? So I'll use dirt now to show this part. Yeah. That's kind of how you would make a circle with blocks like this. Now you see that we're going to fill in. So obviously those need to fill in. And perfect. So this is silo number one. This is how big it's going to be. Uh, oh, hello there. Um, I don't want to trap them in there. So the next thing I need to figure out, right, the road's going to be on this side. So where's the uh, entrance going to be? So the entrance to this I want just to be open, which is going to be here. There's not going to be a door, it's literally just going to be open right here. And so it's a little contrary to what most people do with uh, Minecraft. Right, that's where I'm going to put that. Uh, so you see that there's just a, an entrance right here. And then once you're in, there's going to be a ground floor, and it's going to have a uh, bunch of chests. This will be the, the base flooring. Right? Um, maybe some decorations. Because realistically, what you're going to see is a single chest at the bottom that will always refill when it gets done. But it'll be a chest for each type. Uh, and if you look over here, if I type in seeds, you'll see that there's a lot, of, a lot of seeds. Right? So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. How much space you have here? So, if we did this all the way one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, if there's four sides, right? So, the first sides, that's four, and then we did to the right of each one, that's eight. We'd only need two of the other ones, so I could do both of these two, both of these two, so that'd be four plus four, so four plus four, that's eight, 
and then I could just do that one, that one, and that makes 10, leaving these two areas free. Uh, so, but it's going to be one forward, so here, because remember, behind it, we have to find a way to, uh, this is going to go up quite a while, we're going to have to find a way to include hoppers into this, right? And I'm thinking the way the hoppers are going to work is maybe there's a way I can put them in the center. Hmm. Or there is no hoppers and I just legitimately go through it and manually do this, but in which case having a different side for each one and it just goes up with a staircase and the hoppers being on top of it leading down, you, fill, you can fill up the top one. Wouldn't look as good, but it'd be there. I could cover the hoppers with a uh, trap door or something. That might work. Yeah, that, that's what I'll do. Alright, so I need to make a ton of hole wood. Oh, what am I doing? I actually brought along. I brought along a uh, crafting table for this purpose. Let's set up right up front. Now, how do I make this vertical grid? I don't make vertical points. Three slabs vertically. Okay. Hmm. We can't do stairs sideways. We can do stairs sideways be in. There's the thing. I could do just the outside of here, but the problem is these have to be full, full planks because... Yeah. Actually, I'll put those back down. I'm going to start with just the floor. Um, Start with the thing that we still have the uh, shape out, no problem. And then I can get the rest of it as I go. Oh gosh, getting that guy out of there. Thank you. So we have a nicely constructed floor. I haven't discussed how I want to light it. I haven't discussed how I want to do any of that, right? So right now we have that. And now for the walls. Um, I'm going to have to do it with the uh, points too. Okay. All right, everybody, it is time to stretch. 
I've got a two minute timer up there ready for you guys. Just go ahead and get up, stretch, and if you can't get up, then just kind of wiggle around a little bit. You want to make sure that you get your, your muscles all warmed up. Not that we're going to be exercising, but if you're going to be sitting down for a while, you definitely want to be moving around so that you're not getting sedentary. One minute left. Almost there, everyone. Just stretch a little bit longer and then we'll get right back to it. Vertical slabs can make hanging signs. Where's that? Blazing choke. That's cool. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's not what I want. Tables, trapdoors. I'll be needing those trapdoors in a bit. Um, pressure plates. I mean, never like trapdoors. Why? Ah. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'm gonna make a ton of uh I'll make the outside and then I'll I'll make the inside, so let's go ahead and make this up. So, the silo. Yeah. I would like to keep the dirt if possible. So, one of the things I have that now. How am I going to vary up the look as it gets bigger? So, ironically, <laughs> birch, if I place it and strip it, looks pretty similar. So that might be one of the things I do. Uh, but starting off, I'm not overly worried. I just want to make sure that this thing is functioning. So how tall do I want to make this thing? And it's kind of the nature of how much it's going to have in it because like right here I want to 
I can do this when I modulate because the more the more uh, levels I put in, the more it can do. So like obviously you have ground floor. And then every two I put above that is gonna be a single unit of chests. Right? So this right here is the bare minimum. And they'll have chests here with yeah, so let me uh let me make a ton of chests real quick just to kind of showcase this. Oh, I'm gonna need more fur. Well, I knew it was gonna happen, so it's not a surprise. So I'm gonna there, 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 there. Let's see, this is uh this is gonna be a different type of uh seed for each one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? And from when we look at seeds, that's how many there were, right? Now, above each one, you're going to have... Uh, I'm just going to put this here for now, just to showcase. That will be... Uh, at, it'll be one hopper each. Uh, and then a second row up here. I'm not going to put the second row yet. We don't quite need that yet. But, I already have some seeds, so let's start by... Putting some seeds in here. So, might as well put tea seeds right here. First chest. And second chest. Tea seeds. Um, is that, is that all I have for seeds right now? Yeah, I'm gonna have to actually go on a trip to get more seeds. And a lot of this isn't really gonna be for seeds. Do I have them in here? Yeah, I did. So, uh, this is literally just going to be for seeds. I might have, like, maybe the, uh, maybe underneath it. So, right here is just tea seeds. Are there any more tea seeds here? Nope. What about this one? We do have more wheat seeds. Make this one pumpkin seeds. This one can be tomato, cabbage, melon, beetroot. What is that? I don't think that's a seed. Um, that's it for that. I may have to go back to the uh, seed chest over here and get more. That's fine. I have plenty. Let me double check over here. I'll put this here. I don't know if this rice is uh, one. I will. Uh, I'll double check that on a, a planting plot. Um, I'll just pick that up. All right. Then test it. Oh. So it is actually something you can do. Um, interesting. I may be off on how many seats. I may need way more chests. It's okay though. I can get more. Because wheat would also be one of those things that you should get from there. I will also make some bread when we get there because uh, I'm, I'm hungry apparently. Um, here is going to go set that now. Uh, 
Alright. And what do you need to do? I'll put the this is a tea I'll put the leaves in here as well. Here, add them. This one, so many. And we'll probably be the first to fill up. There we go. This one, pumpkin, tomato, what is this? Cabbage, black seeds. Cabbage, melon, beetroot. Rice, flax. Well, let's go get more. I guess I can, I can make this a silo. I can also make this just my storage area, just the bottom floor being where the seeds are. So more wheat. I guess corn would be the last one. I'm definitely going to have to make a place for uh, fish, uh, carrots, cabbage, corn's going to have to have its own thing. So I guess, is it possible for me to go side by side with these? So like, uh, let me, uh, let me uh, drop off some more of these seeds. I have them weak for there. And then, uh, two. Corn. Corn, lots of corn. There's cabbage. There's cabbage. Um, carrots. Yeah, honestly, there's not much space left for cabbage. Oh, there's these. I might need more. There's the melon one. Put pumpkins in here too. And the flax I will also put here so paper and string can go together. Um, where are the suspicious students? Well, oh, there it goes. When the stew is sus. One sec. Oh, it was too quick. Oh. I don't know what just happened. So, the leaves. Lots and lots of leaves. Just what? We have plenty of leaves. Alright. So. If I took this and instead make it sideways, like that, I can put a second one right here. I can fit more in the circular design, right? I can nickel, I can just not put hoppers here, and this could just be my storage area. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll need to grab some stuff out of each of these. Alright. Um, oh, that's a corn. Oh, that could be a uh, tea bag. Tea, 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 tea. Yep, that's it. Beat me. Alright, so I need to bring one more to fill that. 
which I left in the other chest, I think, or they have my multiple points. Yeah, I think I just left them over here. See them flying around. All right. I want these though. This way. First of all, I can set up the doors. Be right here. Oh man, it looks right when you do that, but <laughs> they open up all the way, so I wonder if I can uh, make that one open up here. Nope. Can I put it on this way? There we go. There is always a way. Okay. So that's cool. And that was those trap doors. Yeah. It's that one just be right there. I know I don't have enough of these, so I'll start it. There's no. Oh, it's not good. There we go. There are two more? No. There we go. And there we go. Now, I kind of want this to go up on the right side. I'm biased, but I'm just, I like it better. Oh no! What are you attacking? It's spitting at someone. Not me. Alright. So these four are right here. Gotta be the best. I'm gonna make the center of cobblestone.
This is actually a pretty good way. Good way to climb. Alright. Awesome. So, starting off. I can start off with, right? Plenty of them in here. Fur logs, there is an entire forest right next to me and I can uh, I can get that stuff together. Alright, now all this aside, right? We need a single floor. How tall am I making this thing? It's gonna be as tall as that? No. We'll say I mean proportionally it'd be pretty tall. But that's it. I could use real life as an example. One second. Oh. Well. Wrong way. So average height of a grain silo is roughly 40 meters, which is 40 blocks. We are currently three blocks. Uh, put this in perspective. I have my thing. I do. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. So a little bit taller than trees, taller than that. That's a <laughs> that's a big silo, but actually doable um yeah it would take me a lot of stacks to do this but i mean i can do it okay. now that i have one up all i could do is just do this to make them all go up that high The thing about silos is they don't have any, uh, they don't have anything on the outside of them usually, except for maybe a design or something. So, other than having to get all the wood for this, I can easily build this. I mean, I'm gonna run out after like three or four stacks. So. Is that the one that said more? There we go. So this is like a like the thing about silos is they're not meant to be pretty, they're meant to store grain. The top of this is going to have a dome shape. Uh, I 
have enough for one and a half stacks, so I won't necessarily start the next stack yet, but I have enough wood. Well, I am doing that. And now I am back to a lot more. 121, that's enough for three stacks. Going to 40 at least. And I'll have a little bit left over because it's not fully forty. there's nine more next to that, so. Making progress. Getting there. Just one side of this is gonna have it. And this doesn't even include the fact that I still have to make the uh, center area gonna go all the way to the top and I'll make the uh, cap of this in cobblestone although this does mean I'm gonna have to uh, cut down another tree <laughs> much as I hate it I shall I'll take it down a few trees because I want to fill this with uh, chests as well This storage silo just became my entire storage system because I didn't expect it to be this large. Look how large this is. Right to the top of these trees. Also tells you how tall these trees are, right? Oh. Now I'm going to the center. Well, here's the really good thing. Oh. Are they doing that to me? Interesting. So I'm, I'm sure I have enough cobblestone. I have enough dirt. <laughs> I'm gonna get some dirt so I can cut down one of these trees. No, honestly, I might, might want to just cut down two of them. Start with this guy though. Easy tree. I did it, guys. Cut down the whole tree that quick. That was probably the quickest tree I've cut down this whole game. Uh. All right. I guess I'll start with this one uh, in the middle of these two. So if I start with this one, the leaves don't necessarily have to all come down. Since it's merging with another tree, it won't look so bad. second. Looks like the last thing I'm going to do this on this episode is cut down a tree. That's fine. I know how much you guys love seeing me cut down trees, but what I will do is I will get enough wood to finish this silo. I will not finish it though. I know how many logs I'm going to need because I know each log makes four planks, right? And it takes 40 planks to uh takes 40 planks to make one so it's 10 10 logs per uh per line and it takes two logs for every chest and since i have 10 14 chests per level and it's 40 up 
I'll have to do some quick math, but I forgot how many logs, but it's a lot. Now that I think about it. Maybe I should have picked an easier tree to cut. So if it's two per chest, 14 chests per, or double chest, oh, which is 28, that means it is 56 logs per level. Because it's, oh jeez, so large. I would pick one of the largest ones. It's fine. Fifty-six. It's almost a stack per level. Oh. Fourteen chests times two because they're double chests. So twenty-eight. Each one, each double chest costs approximately two logs. No, each double chest. Oh shit! I have to think about this. So a single chest costs one log. No. no. So the log gives you four. You know what? Calculator. Sometimes it gets too much for your head. That's alright. So one log gives you four planks. Alright. So four planks is if times that by two. So for each each chest costs two logs per chest for a single chest. So it's for a double chest that's four. So there are fourteen double chests per level, which comes out to it comes out. So I did that a little awkward, but it's four logs. 14 double chests, it's 56 logs per level. There's 40 levels. That's 2,240 logs. So I'm not going to get that. Um, and if that is the case, I would also change the type of tree to something that I could possibly make an auto breaker. What I will do is I will make 
a ton of chests. Why? For... Ow. Oh, that was close. Ooh. Go ahead and that. Ah. Put there. I'll just make a ton of chests. I'll do that. And before that, I will also just, you know, get myself down from here. Um, I might go do something that I've been thinking about then. I'm going to make a breaker and see if it breaks tree. And if it does, then I am going to make a uh, tree farm. Uh, because that might be a quick way to get lots of logs very quickly. As opposed to waiting and cutting down these trees, which are terrible. So, I appreciate it. You guys are, you know, fun. that's going to be huge. Uh, always, as always, it's really fun you know, have you guys on. And uh, I'm going to continue to... Uh, make this place better and we'll see what kind of uh, large village we can make. You guys have a great day.